Your voice, your station. So, you want to hear school students talk about their travel experiences, learnings, escapades, episodes, knowledge, incidents from all the corners of the globe? Terra Talk, platform from where young voices reach out to the world. Brought to you by Ed Terra Adventures. Hey everyone, welcome to a celestial encounter. We are your hosts, a bunch of students who just had their mind blown at Jantar Mantar in Jaipur. Spoiler alert, it's not a fancy restaurant, but trust me, it's still pretty cool. Today I, Miraya, Jasveer, Pragun and Elena are going to share our wonderful experience with you all. Terra Talk, platform from where young voices reach out to the world. When they said that we were visiting an Asian observatory, I thought great, more math. But it turns out that Jantar Mantar is full of those giant weird looking sculptures that actually tell time. Like the Samrat Yantra, it is the world's largest sundial. It's basically a clock that's too big to fit on your wrist. But hey, it can measure time down to just 2 seconds. No more blaming my watch for being late to class. Oh, and don't forget the Jaya Prakash Yantra. It's like a giant ball that helps you find stars. I couldn't help thinking, if this was in my back here, it make an epic swimming pool but instead of water you would get a map of the night sky so it's like a swimming pool in the scars they have the rashivilya yantra which is used to study zodiac signs so if you want to blame mercury retrograde for everything this is where you get the proof i thought astrology was all about reading horoscopes but turns out they had a whole building dedicated to it imagine getting relationship advice from a 300 year old giant stone structure visiting jantar mantar was like being in an episode of ancient astronomers gone wild. They were out there measuring the sky when most of us can barely use Google Maps. Respect. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars or at least for your history textbook. After our visit to Jantar Mantar, we ended the trip by visiting the Choki Dhani. Overall, we had a memorable trip. Finally, we would like to express our gratitude towards our school teachers and the whole Terra management. Stay tuned for the next Deadly Podcast. Till then, goodbye. Khamagadi! Like what you're listening? Stay tuned for a new podcast on classroomworld.com. Terra Talk, the number one station.